Regardless of sexual orientation, constituency, or nipple size, we all have unavoidable problems that we have to grapple with on a regular basis. For example, have you ever wondered why the vast majority of men cheat? During their PSLE and O-level Hindi examination, have you ever looked at a stranger for the first time and felt like punching him in the shits? How could I not? I've been to Old Trafford at least six times. Have you ever been on a Tinder date presuming that she was the girl on the right? You get to Nando's, turns out she's not the girl on the right. She's the girl on the left. Well, if she's the girl on the left, well then she can fuck off. <laughs> it's such a horrible thing to say. We're all beautiful people, <clears throat> except for when it comes to Tinder. Did Jay-Z really cheat on Beyonce? Well, given my current preoccupation with the enigma of parallel parking, and the story behind the man who invented the toothpick. With all due respect, Mr. Speaker Sir, but who gives a shit? What's up, I'm going for a hiking trip now. I'm wearing the socks with the sandals, but the mosquitoes still bloody... The mosquitoes still sucking my bloody shit. Hey, you wear shit. socks with sandals for what? You think why? You're pond star, is it? It is very, it is very, very uh, comfortable. Comfortable? It is the comfortness of the comfortability. You don't bloody question my English now, you understand? Okay, but why don't you just put mosquito repellent? It is the chemicals. It is very bad. Have you ever been racially discriminated by this country? How could I? Even if they wanted to, they wouldn't be able to. Why? Because no one even knows what I am. <laughs> I don't even know what I am. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, oh, relax. If I receive five cents for every racial discriminatory anecdote I've been through, I'd have like three dollars, bro. I mean, what would happen if we took away the nuanced racism in Singapore? It's all the street cred we have. Have you ever been to class with a name like Vinesh Nagrani and have the teacher pronounce it as Vikneshwaran Nagarajan? How the fuck you get Nagarajan? Actually, uh, two years ago, I had a student. His name was Nagarajan. Oh, well done, Labadi. This, my friend, is a very good comeback. This is a very, very good comeback. Hey, you know in secondary school, uh, you know what people used to call me or not? Speedy Gonzalez. You know why or not? Because I'm a... Uh, Quite fast. Hey, Mr. Hari Iskandar. Even my church pastor uh, got a better punchline than you. Uh. Hey, you don't talk so much, lah. Eh? You know you smell uh, like people's park complex. Huh? I smell like what? People's park complex. People park complex. People park complex. Fuck you, lah, like, Chibai. You know, it's always been a fetish of mine to launch a watermelon the size of Avinash's skull out of a window and hope that it coincidentally lands on someone's head. Well, obviously not any random person's head. Not a fucking retard. No, just someone with, you know, minimal economic contribution to society. Like a um, 74 year old. Wheel clamper, primary school relief PE teacher, uh, Grace Fu. <laughs> no. Or like my 18 year old daughter, na, who doesn't do jack shit but eat, sleep shit, and fart all day. It's a goddamn bloody useless bloody child. Could you say that about your daughter? Ayo, of course the daughter is useless, why? If the father is a gundu, then obviously the daughter be another gundu sami, why? Hey, hello. What is my next line, bloody man? Hey, hello. Have, Have you, you ever wondered bloody... why the death hey, penalty is coming? Hey, hello. What? Hello, hello. You think what? Singh Tamil mobile customer service, hello, hello. You would have stopped saying all these things. Now, have you ever wondered why the death penalty is still maintained on those with 500 grams of cannabis and not on those who deliberately flip around the orientation of a toilet roll in a public toilet. Oh, I remember one time I had to bury in a Yochukang MRT toilet. Oh, I tell you the state of the toilet is terrible. Eh? Some more, the toilet roll finished, no? so I had to sacrifice my new Adidas socks. Eh? Who asked you shishi in the MRT toilet? You can cross the road and bangsa in the more. Eh? No, this is very bad. Last time, Nandini took a dump in a public toilet. She came back bloody pregnant, bloody bad. Have you ever questioned the credibility of the theory that you master at university? Like, why would a North Indian tycoon cancel plans to attend an open bar or an on-the-house vegetarian buffet? How would that theory explain to the Marwaris? You neoclassical economics Einstein Bhundavich Khidi? You know what is the Bhundavich Khidi? The Bhundavich Khidi is the mosquito inside of the gui. You know what is the gui? It is the gui is the very, very undesirable part of the physical anatomy. It is the goddamn bloody slippery shit. Now, obviously, not all these problems transcend all members of the human race, like the uh, Yochukang toilet or the... Uh, but the mosquito is still... Socks with sandals. But can you do private investigation for me, please? It is causing a lot of inconvenience <coughs> in my life. What other problems do you have? Uh, my mother-in-law, she is uh, still, uh, but, uh, you know, alive. We can do a little bit to, uh, you know, uh, you know. But the problem that we address in Lemon Lussie is one that does. The problem that we're all notoriously guilty of complaining about you, me, and uh, Devatasan. That is the problem of superficiality. Our image has become so divorced from reality. I mean, how has the game of deceit managed to so connivingly and successfully colonize our lives? I don't know. Just ask our next US female president. Join me as your curator, Bukhu Cornelius, 
and Rafiki in our deep throat analysis, I mean cutthroat analysis. Now the theory and knowledge that we were coerced to impart will be so theoretically close to the truth. It will offend people. I'm about to blow the lid off this bitch. Nobody tell Cat Williams to say what the fuck he wanna say. God damn. But you see, this form of medication, unlike the one that's prescribed by the modern pharmaceutical industry, will be healthy for you in the long run. Now I may come across as vile, cross, brutally honest, and blindingly handsome, but I can assure you, shall you meet me in person, that you would come to find that, well, I truly am. The episode drops any moment now, but why the ambiguity? Well, if there's one thing that Sonny Leon has taught the world, it's that product value exponentially rises. We're teasing. Thank you for your time. Little girls and little boys. They're beautiful girls and beautiful boys. Very click the very button, very this you know. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying?